Hello everyone, welcome back to the long dark. And today I am going to make for Timberwolf Mountain. Well, at least the region. Went ahead and I pared down the pack a bit. Got rid of some clothes I don't need, did a bit of repair work. And now we're light enough to find this rope, I believe. Don't have any coffee, so we'll have to go without coffee. I'm gonna get super tired. So I should make it make it in one go though. Without having to stop on the ledge. Up a little bit of extra mass from uh, probably getting wet. I'll do a quick sketch here just to lighten all the load a bit. a pass that takes you to Timberwolf Mountain. And uh, hopefully I can make it to the Mountaineer's Hut. I'm getting too tired. Oh yeah, it's still early in the day. Well, early-ish. Oh, see that? That's Timberwolf Mountain ahead. I'm not going to pull out the revolver anymore unless I have to to deal with the wolf because I wasted a couple of bullets that way. Like, having it up in my hand and click, left clicking by accident. I didn't mean to. Well, that'd be a lesson to you. There we are. Timberwolf Mountain. What's the temperature? Pretty chilly, minus 23, but I've got good clothes on, so it's not bad. Come on, you can make it up this hill. Tons of sticks, but I don't need sticks at the moment. And no, I don't think I'll make it to the summit today. But that's not the goal here. The goal is to spend two weeks, 14 days, starting now. Wolf Mountain without dying. That's basically the goal of this whole playthrough that I've been doing is has been the same to go to a somewhat challenging region, survive there for 14 days, and then leave in one piece. And this will be no different. Let's do a quick sketch since we'll be in this region for a while. Oh yeah. This region tends to have a lot of blizzards, so I would expect probably at least a couple blizzards, probably three or four during my stay here. But now the weather seems half decent. One thing to also keep in mind in Kim Wolf Mountain is that the weather is pretty cold, especially near the summit. So, I'll be well prepared. I can just Timberwolf Wolf Mountain right ahead there. Another thing to keep in mind, too, is that Timberwolf Mountain does not have any Timberwolves. 
Just the, the normal variety. Visibility is okay today, but as long as it's not a clear day, you can see the summit from here. This is the landing gear of the jet that crashed on Timberwolf Mountain. Let's do a quick sketch here. There we go. Now, I'm going to keep heading for the Mountaineer's Hut, and this trip shouldn't be too eventful. Timberwolf Mountain does have a fair number of predators, but they roam only certain areas. Summit itself has no predators. can be a terrible walk if you're caught in a blizzard, but at least the weather today is not bad. Oh, look at this, rabbits. You know what, if I could... I'd probably should start trapping rabbits if I'm going to be staying in this area for a while. I'm not sure how much food I'll find in the crates. Or there'll be an, or the, there'll be enough food available for the whole 14 days here just by searching through the containers. I mean, the containers have a lot of loot in them. Don't get me wrong, but whether it'll be for enough for two weeks, I do not know. I may very well have to do some hunting and fishing to live off the land, and that's okay. Ah, oh, there we go, the Mountaineer's Hut. I'll use this as my base for at least the first little while. What heavy am I getting? Oh, I'm getting kind of tired though, that's kind of annoying. Rope climb that was really tiring. Mountaineer's hut. Let's open the door and close it again. All right, let's read the climbers journal. I'm gonna leave this up for a second. You can um, uh, pause the video and read it yourself if you want. This is just describing the plane crash that happened here. Yeah, we don't need Tinder. The hacks on here. I don't think I'll need that either. Cloth. Yeah, I can fix something with this that. This will come in handy. No, we don't need a flare. I'm going to leave some of this stuff here for now. There's lots of stuff here, but I don't really need it right now. I'll throw the stuff, stuff in this hatch. Like, uh, I don't think we're going to need the, all this coal, coal on us right now. Makes this a little lighter. And I'm not going hunting, so I don't need the rifle either. Or is there a pick? Definitely don't need to carry shell casings on me. 
there. Alright, that's a lot lighter. What time is it? High noon. No. Could go fishing. But I don't think I'm going fishing right now. I'm going to go over and. There's a cargo container down this way. Well, first, we're going to sketch. Charcoal, which is over here. There, Mountaineer's Hut. Now let's head on outside. Boom. Alright, let's, um, go down this way. Now there's, uh, um, fishing hut here, so it's, this is actually a pretty good spot to spend a little while at. Oh no, we're getting tired, that's not cool. Crystal Lake. And I believe there's a cargo container just down this way. Oh dear. Hmm. We should have brought the rifle in. <laughs> Go hunting. Oh uh, well. I try. Deal with a revolver, I guess. I'm not sure how easy this is gonna be. Revolver doesn't have as much range as the rifle, but it is a pretty good weapon, all things considered. Oh, come on. Stop walking around there, dear. Stand still so I can hit you. I got so much ammo anyway that wasting around the air is not a big deal. Got to reload though. At least I have to fight a wolf. And put that away before you pick up the empty cartridge. that there. I, I might be able to hang out under to lure him in and duck under the We can't. Ah. Okay, this could be interesting. 
I always had the rifle. Bear can reach down here, so. Hmm. When he gets close, I'm gonna take a shot at him. Now, this could be a pretty silly idea, but. Who knows? I don't think the bear can actually reach under here, to be honest. It's not the best shelter, but I hope it's bear proof. <laughs> Walking this way, perfect. If he gets nice and close, I'm gonna take a shot at him with this revolver and see what happens. It's gonna be an incredibly silly idea that I'm doing. Because this revolver will not scare this bear. So I don't, I don't think he can fit. I know I have to screw so I think if I'm underneath this tree, the bear should be confused, right? I know, that's a really crazy idea. Plan worked. Ha 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 ha. That was a hit. That bear's gonna bleed out now, and that's gonna kind of harvest the later. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna leave you there alone. don't need to, um, I think shooting one bear is enough shooting for the day. <laughs> the bear is... ran off, so he is bleeding, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna make a bear skin coat. If I can kill a couple bears. There isn't a bear up the mountain further, but I might be able to take out this way too. Where he ran off to? You know what? We'll be dead tomorrow. No moose don't leave. So this technique will not work on a moose. But honestly, this isn't a terrible way to hunt a bear. Is to squat underneath something where the bear can't reach. I'm gonna sketch here quick. It's a bad idea. If the blizzard blows up here, I could be in trouble. Or if the bear comes at me. Oh well. Bear may have just gone back to his den. I'm not sure if hurt bears. Is that the same wait, is that the same bear or is that another bear? If he's bleeding, that's the same bear that I just shot. You get downwind of him. I have a flare gun, so if worst comes to worst, I'll use that to protect myself. Ooh, 
Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired, which is not ideal. I just have to look to see if he's leaving any, um, blood trail behind. Hey, bear, are you bleeding out slowly? One bear that's farming this area, so he must be bleeding out. So you saw the blood drops behind him, right? Let's get behind this bear and see. He's leaving, still leaving a blood trail. So he should be. And I shot him. And you saw the blood spatter. Around. I don't see this fella's track. Weird. So this bears are all buggy. Uh let's be careful. I don't want to get jumped on this ridge line. Yeah. Oh yeah, is he bleeding? I Tell. Yeah, he's probably bleeding out slowly. I only see my footprints. <laughs> oh, there's the way. There's a container right over here now. There's also. Ooh, dear wolves. Don't be silly, wolves. You know what happened to that bear after when he got too close to me? He got a little surprise. <laughs> and in case you are wondering, no wolf. I have no problems with shooting, shooting you either. If you get too close and you try to take a nip out of me, I might take it out on you, my annoyance. Ooh. You tell me out. Well, you know what? I think there's a place here you can go that's wolf proof, right? Look this rock. Uh, that wolf's gone for something else. Alright, you know what? Let's let that wolf go for a little hunt. It's probably going after deer. Or a rabbit or something. Alright, let's go and check the container with my hacksaw. Because you need hacksaw to open these, so that's a uh, thing to remember. They do take time to open, so if there's a wolf or bear near you, <laughs> this can be a very annoying process. What's in here? What's in here? Oh. I'm not overloaded, that's interesting. Thank goodness. Oh. That. I'll grab the guts of that bear once he dies. Oops, sounds like a wolf had a dinner. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, I don't want to eat this stuff. This remind me that there's all kinds of medical supplies in here. Ammo, yes, very good. Where I'll take. Uh, I'll take more Let's I'll keep the it. lamp burning. Well, that makes it kind of heavy. 
Why have you already? Ah, uh, four kills though. Not terrible. I don't remember which bag came from. Was it? That's not the way we came from, right? Okay, we came from this way. Crystal Lake is this way. I'm not going to go to the Echo Ravine because I am kind of tired today. And I've got lots of stuff to throw into the uh, Mountaineer's Hut. But don't worry. I will go there eventually. I'm curious to see where that bear died. He's in a cave? I really don't know. Is it the bear? I believe it is. There's that bear. I think, right? Down. Where is he? Uh, I don't see him. You know what? Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, that's the bear I shot. All right. I gotta say, this revolver is a pretty nice little weapon. I almost like it better than the rifle, anyway, so it doesn't sway so much. Range isn't as good, but if you can sneak up on something, it's honestly not bad. The bear will respawn, I think, in about uh, a few days, or within a week. But for now, no bear. I will come back and grab the hide of this fella. And the meat. It's not right now. Now chart the me do a quick sketch here. Oh, I did. I already sketched this area. Oh, pecker. Yeah, this leads into the Echo Ravine, and that's where that bear came from. That's his cave. And these are the... Echo Peaks. We'll definitely go to the summit of those, too, because there's a pretty good view. Uh, we'll, we'll take that hide from this bear and cure it. the Echo Ravine right down there. <clears throat> wow, I'm... Just need to close my eyes. Don't worry. You're almost to the home away from home. There's a wood there. There's a fire. I'm going to have to make some more water. Wait, I don't. I got so much pop. I can just make pop. Not in real life. In the game, I'll just drink pop instead. What time is it? It's getting late. I think tomorrow I'll go and uh, pick up the meat from that bear and the hide and then throw it in the mountain here so to cure up. I'm thinking of making a bear skin coat, honestly. It'd be cool. Or fixing this bedroll. Yeah, that rolls in decent shape, so... Mm. Did I map this area? No, I didn't. I didn't map this. There we go. 
go. Oh yeah. It's been a long and tiring day, but I think that's pretty good. Starting off by um, taking out a bear. Honestly, isn't a bad start. There's a lot of meat available on that bear, so I won't have to hunt for quite a while. Go look on the workbench to see how many hides you need to make a bear skin coat. I think you need two bear hides in. Might make some deer skin boots as well. There was one bear that was dead there and I have a hide on it, right? There's a whole bunch of other dead bears scattered around the map, so I'm just probably gonna steal those carcasses as opposed to shooting deer. I already have a moose hide satchel, so I'm not going to bother with killing moose, but, uh... I think we'll make a bear skin coat, since we've already took down that bear. Ah, uh, come on, you can make it. I'm going to put all this food in the hatch, because... It's uh, kind of heavy. All right, let's close the door. Boom. All right, let's see. Okay. How are we doing for food? Probably have some pinnacle peaches today. Let me put some of this pop away. There. I think we're also going to take one of these pinnacle peaches out and heat it up. There. Or two of them. We have a couple of pinnacle peaches. Let's take the charcoal and we're going to start a fire. Hello, that fire is telling me that there's probably going to be a blizzard soon. Drop some of these pinnacle peaches. Pinnacle peaches are heavy. They don't have that many calories in them, but they do hydrate, so they're not entirely useless. <clears throat> you know, there's a bunch of matches down over here. Those always spawn, regardless of the difficulty level. And there's a mountaineering rope that spawns. Uh, let me see if I can find it for you. Right there. That rope always spawns. Let's get this uh, pinch is going. Pass the time. Eat him up. We have to make some more. But hey. You know what? I'm gonna have to drink something. Some pop, maybe? Pop will never give you food poisoning, so you can drink pop in any condition level you want. Temperature in here typically. Yeah, okay, that's not going to be very helpful, but anyway. 
I think I'm gonna go get some Zeds, and yeah, this will be the end of this episode, so it was pretty successful, so take care, see you next episode, and goodbye.